human technopole is created to carry out and to enable research into human biology. And we hope by doing this, we'll contribute to human health and human well-being. Cryo-EM is a structural biology technique. I would say it's the structural biology technique at the moment. It helps explaining how cell works, how protein and, and macromolecular machine that ultimately fuel the cells. Without knowing the shape and the form and, and how those, those macromolecular machine works, we do not understand how, how life works. At Human Technobo, we had to build everything from scratch. And for us, our key priority was to establish a network of instruments that were like integrated to each other so that we could perform from plastic sections to high resolution single particle application going through in situ cryoelectron tomography. And that's why we opted for the thermoscientific package. The Human Technopole is building up fantastic facilities, not only for the electron microscopy, but also light microscopy. We will have an organoid facility and genomic facility, so plenty of possibilities on how to expand our research avenues. And uh, one thing that is clearly important for us is to be able to provide a range of, uh, you know, understanding structural function. Instead of like creating barriers, we are really trying to maximize the interactions between scientists. They work in very different fields, but ultimately we want to answer biological questions of such a breadth that only by maximizing this interaction we can really take on that. And I think this is quite a unique opportunity to start something from scratch like this, where these disciplines, which are very technology-based, come actually together instead of being separated in compartments. The two major benefits from a cryo-EM experiment are the fast response and the level of details by which we can really answer our scientific questions. Like, for example, studying viruses or studying protein damage, misfunction inside the cell. Ultimately, we depend on basic discoveries that do not come from structural biology per se, but from geneticists, molecular biologists, etc. So this is also an infrastructure that should be open to the Italian community and who knows, maybe to the entire South European community if needed to be. It is in the interest of structural biologists to make the field cryo as accessible as possible to the wider life sciences community. <laughs>